Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Matthias Kluzula from Mulba. Matthias, thank you very much for joining me. You're pre presenting this afternoon on the next generation of uh, automated border control. Tell me what you think is the, is the sort of shift that's going on in that sector and, and why that's happening. Um, well, looking at today's situation, we have about 100 countries issuing e-passports so far. <coughs> uh, we have seen lots of uh, nice e-gate and smart gate installations so far, so-called the first generation e-gates. But there is noticed a gap between the technology of issuing the passports and the facilitation of e-passports. And uh, even ICAO um, emphasis in the last year's annual meeting in uh, Montreal that there is approximately a five-year gap between technology for issuing passports and facilitation in the borders right. and the next generation e automatic border control system will close that gap towards closing that gap and um, the presentation will be pretty much focused on uh, modularity aspects mm -hmm. to have a tool based modular set of uh, modules that you can uh, combine arbitrarily to, to cope with all, let's say, requirements in automated border control. Okay. Start from space constraints, over security constraints, efficiency constraints, etc. That's pretty much what the presentation yeah. will be all about. And in terms of driving that change, I mean, there are two parts. There's really the breeder documents, as you say, the passports themselves, um, and the border control. If we look specifically at the border control, the right. E-gate, What's, what's driving the development there? Is it the technology that becomes available to us? Is it the requirement of the visitor? For me, I yeah. used to use the e-gate because it was quicker. Now everybody's using right. the e-gate, so it's I think it's. I think it's, uh, I think it's not too much the technology. I see more it's the need and the requirement. We have increasing traveler numbers. Uh, we have long lines on the borders. And uh, we have a high demand of efficiency and security. Mm -hmm. And this is pretty much driving the, uh, the e-gate. And uh, the next generation e-gates are pretty much required because e-gate systems are now opened up not just for your local citizens or your local population or pre-registered traveler as the majority of the first generation e-gates were about, right. but for whole population worldwide. Right. And so you have to cope with so many, let's say, challenges. Mm -hmm. You have to inspect travelers, let's say, from China or from third nationals uh, differently than your yeah. own European Union citizens. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why the technology or the system must react on it, must um, yeah, must allow you yeah. to be as flexible to adjust according to the requirement, uh, according to the to the group of people that yeah. you are going to inspect. Okay, and as you inspect more and more different people, you're, you're thus interrogating more and more different documents. Right, this, so is, a challenge, need, this is a challenge as well. Yeah. And yeah, is that because really is the challenge there that the documents are currently not as interoperable as we'd like them to be? Do they all use the same yeah, RFID? That, that, that's, that, that's a very good question. Um, we have well, we have uh, some installations in the field so far, and we've encountered uh, some problems, uh, of course. But uh, in that case, we rely on the technology of the document reader um, mm -hmm. vendors, and they've collected experience over the years. To, uh, to justify the, let's say, problems with interoperability of the passports. Right. And uh, meanwhile, in uh, second generation e-passports, these interoperability issues are more or less solved. Uh, we don't see these issues from the first generation right. passports not as strict or as strong anymore as we've seen them in the past. So this is more or less, uh, let's say, under control. Yeah, and in terms, of, in terms of governance of that, in terms of governance of that interoperability, who do all the different vendors look to for for, for standards, for, for kind of the, yeah, I mean the the, um, the interoperability was in the big. I think this was one of the biggest achievements from ICAO. Mm -hmm. So they went through a uh, procedure of I don't know how many years, doing so many interoperability testing, and um, I remember in 2004. It's I guess it's I think it started in 2004 and 2005, six, seven. There were so-called interoperability tests. Uh, chip and chip technology vendors such as, uh, I don't know, NXP, Infineon, whatsoever, participated as well as document reader uh, vendors and producers. And um, so step by step, the interoperability issues have been solved yeah. based, of course, on uh, standards defined by ICAO. Yeah. yeah. And, and your presentation, are we going to have a, a happy ending? Is there a good conclusion? Are we going to have faster e-gates? Um, yeah, More the secure e-gates? The conclusion is... Um, center on the or focus everything on the on the traveler mm -hmm. to make the traveler happy 
to uh, to guide to help the traveler. This will speed up the the border crossing event tremendously. And another message is uh, be as modular as we tried to mm. suggest it here in yeah. our presentation, in order to uh, cope with those requirements and challenges I've yeah. been trying to address briefly, yeah. or even to be uh, flexible to to change your installation according to requirement which may arise next year or the year after next year without of throwing away what you have been yeah. purchasing so far. Yeah. yeah, that flexibility is really important and agility exactly. too. We need to be able to adapt very quickly right. because like you say, airports for example change quite slowly, don't they? It takes time, so <laughs> right. it's a process. Right, right. Matthias, thank you very much for joining me. Good luck with your presentation. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the event.